What's up, guys? Tower Sets in here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, comment down below. Then you subscribe to get notifications on. We'll be shouted down in the next video. Uh, every Saturday, I'm going to be uh, coming on here and uh, teaching you a song. Uh, so these videos, these videos are going to be pretty long. So go ahead and get yourself a shot of coffee. You need to stop this video. Get yourself a shot. Of, get yourself some coffee, water, you know, a snack or something. This is going to be a long video. In these videos, I'm going to go into detail. I'm not going to go into strumming, but I will go into detail with each song and how you can play them. So let's get into it. I'm going to tilt my camera down here. All right. <clears throat> As you can tell, I have my. I'm using a, a computer, so. And I'm sitting on a table. So. But anyway, oops. Do that like so. Right there. Um, we're going to be. Uh, I'm going to teach you the song Blue Tacoma by Russell Dickerson. For this song, we're going to have to, we're going to capo the second fret. If, uh, if you're not familiar with the capo, the capo just puts the song into a certain key. Uh, I believe it would be in the key of G right here. So you're going to use four chords. As I said, we're going to use a, a G chord, a C at nine, an E minor, and a D. Uh, and uh, how I play those is I uh, keep these, my pinky finger on the. Um, First string, ring finger on the second string, of the fifth fret. This finger on the sixth string, fifth fret. This finger on the fifth string, uh, fourth. All six. All six. For the C at nine, just move them down. Uh, middle finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Uh, pointer finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. Right there. And then for the E minor, just press right in between the 4th and 5th string. And then for the D, just press the 3rd string, bottom 4. That's how the song goes. The song's two beats. It's two beats per chord, the whole thing. So in that intro, you're doing 1, 2, 1. Again, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So, and then in the verse, verses one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and again, two, one, two, one. So, I'm just going to play through the first verse and chorus, and then I'll, then I'll teach it to you. Wheels on a no Toyota, sun kiss up on sun kiss soda, and down here in the West Coast wind, if heaven is anywhere. I can't sing it, but anyway, uh, as I said in the in the intro, it's Blue Tacoma, California, raise the gold of shining on you, or shining on you, and then that in that it's one, two G, two Cs. You're going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and switch. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's that chord progression the whole song. That way through the whole song. That chord progression, G, C, E minor, D. It's the same way. And then in, and then, and then in, the, and in the chorus, the same way. Same way. Two G's, or two C's, two G's, two E minors, two D's. <clears throat> and then when you get down to right here after... Ooh, if heaven is anywhere, then it's two two C's. Ooh, if heaven was anywhere, it's right here. And then you get into the, and then you go to G, and then it's, and then Blue Tacoma, California again. It's two G's, E minor, D. 
and then you write it back into G, uh, C, E minor, D. G, D, E, and then it's right back into that. Pretty straightforward song. Um, it's easy to learn. Pretty simple. So when you first start the song, that's why I said if you follow the chord diagram, just on the on there, just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Well, this video ain't gonna be that long, but um, it's pretty straightforward. Now I am gonna be doing a a lesson on Wagon Wheel, and that song is really more, well, this will actually, that's going to be in, on next Saturday, but this that song is a lot more complicated, because it's, it's going to use, it's two G's, two D's, two E minors, two C's, two G's, two D's, two E minors, two C's. I'll get into that one later on. But again, just when this song started, two C's, two G's, two E minors, two D's. It's two beats per chord, the whole song. Just follow that, follow the chord progression, just follow the chords, and you know the timing. So don't be. Don't worry about the strumming pattern, and I gotta figure out. But anyway, that's all I've got. Can't back on me for that. And that's all I've got. Pretty straightforward. Remember, two beats per chord, G or C, G, E minor, D, the whole song. So uh, pretty straightforward to learn. It's easy to learn. So I'll also leave a link for the for the chord progression uh, down in the description. So pretty well forward. Pretty straightforward. Capable of the second fret. Get self capo. This number two beats per chord. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Pretty straightforward. Well, that's all I got for this lesson. Stay tuned for next week. We'll have another lesson next week, Saturday. It will be Wagon Wheel. And we're going to go really into depth with that one. The song's got a lot of great, it's four chords, same four chords. It's just mm, a little different. That video will be about a half hour long. So, hope you guys like it. We'll talk to you guys later. And dream, explore, and discover.